Here at the Greenback Command Center at the Corner Market, city and county officials have been swamped. Coordinating efforts in such massive destruction is exhausting, both physically and emotionally. The victims you're trying to help aren't just victims, they're friends and, in some cases, family. It is a job that doesn't allow many breaks, but among the crews from Greenback and Loudoun County, we happen to notice patches from other departments. The Lenore City Fire Department, the Blunt County Fire Department, the Townsend Fire Department, even the Fire Department from McGee Tyson Airport. There was the Tennessee Task Force and the Red Cross. Sheriff Tom Guider appreciates the help. When something of this magnitude does happen, you'll see a lot of, a lot of volunteers coming to play. And, and they've just, uh, again, they're mostly volunteers. But it's not just official agencies. The damage is great and the cleanup effort will be massive and difficult. And the offers of help started coming in early on. This is longtime Greenback Mayor Tom Peeler. Ken, it's just unreal this morning how many phone calls I've had. I've probably had 30 phone calls this morning from churches, from organizations, from individuals, from Lenore City, Maryville, just offering help. And while all this help from surrounding communities is great, the fact that no one died in the storm indicates that there was help from even farther away. Just the good Lord was looking after all of us, and uh, just a miracle that nobody got, got hurt. Ken Schwal, 10 News.